In one of the previous lessons we have included a couple of images on our page, and those images are being served from our VIT server. And that means that we can apply any kind of transformations to those images as well as optimization to reduce image size, because currently, as we can see, those images are pretty big. The size of each one is over 2 megabytes. Right now, when we are building the project, those images are simply copied into our build folder with no changes. So their original sizes remain the same. So to be able to apply optimization to those images, I'm going to use another vid plugin called vid plugin image optimizer. This plugin should be installed as any other npm package. And just because it relies on another couple of tools, we have to install those libraries as well, such as Sharp and SVGO. So let's just copy this whole command and paste it in the terminal. And in here I'm also going to include a couple of additional libraries, SVGO and Sharp. Right after the installation process is finished, we'll have to include this plugin in our vid configuration file. So let's just copy this import statement paste it inside our vid.config.js and to actually include this plugin we have to call just imported function inside of this plugin's array like this. This plugin has a bunch of configuration options and just because our images have a jpg extension we're going to use this option to be able to control quality level. In other words we can specify how much our image should be optimized. So let's call that plugin inside of plugins array. And in here I'm going to add jpg configuration option and specify the quality level 50. And now during the build, each of those images we are referencing inside of blade template are actually going to be optimized before they are saved inside of the build folder. In order to reference static assets from the blade templates, and make them be handled by vid. We had to include the following globe method call inside JavaScript file to tell vid about our images. And now with any luck, if we're gonna run the build, right away we're seeing that there have been some transformations performed on our images, and their sizes have been drastically reduced from over 2 megabytes down to 900 kilobytes. So after we're gonna load the page once again, right here we can see that those image sizes have been reduced. 